Yep, Cache, last forward it would appear. Expect her to be quite well to the fore. Confirm front runner. And has stall nine, so possibly will want to go forward in order to get in the quiet of the mile start. Away down at the bottom. Honey girl up in the air. But that's it, all in for the coronation stakes, the round mile. The international field of 12 are sent on their way to a very good line. Cache is indeed one of the first to show. Prosperous Voyage pushed up on the outside and Discoveries also takes a handy position as they race through the first furlong. Spenderella and Mongustine pushing up on the rails as Cache hasn't quite yet been able to cross. Uh, racing in midfield is Rolling the Dice who is just ahead of Grand Dam who's caught on heels there with Tenebrism. In spiral races alongside Sandrine and the back markers of Pizza Bianco who's well back and been relegated Real. to last. Hello. Mario. Honey girl. So now Cache has got to the front and out in the lead. The rider just trying to sit up James Doyle and steady things down. Chaser, she wasn't the guineas by Prosperous Voyage in second place with Spenderella racing in third as the pace just steadies as they climb uphill. Mongostine races next on the inside of Discoveries. Tenebrism tracks them in midfield with Grand Dam in black and white, then rolling the dice and Sandrine. Red, white, and blue have inspired on the last two remain Honey Girl and Pizza Bianca. So making the turn now and then the straight. Cache just feeling to raise the ante. Passing the three has the lead from Prosperous Voyage. It's Look Group trying to get away with Spenderella. Uh, discovers on the outside, then towards the inside. Mongustine who still travels okay. One down to the Brisbane Spiral and Blue is also trying hard as they make their way now with a third and a half to go. Cache Spenderella discovers down the outside in Spiral. He's now getting into full play, so is Tenebrism. It's Discovery's own Spenderella over on the far side, but now he's Spiral. Well done. Well done, Frank. songs later in the season will be great. Spender on a second, it's close to the third between the Irish pair of Tenebrism and Discoveries. Cache eventually finished fifth and then behind these Honey Girl. They were fighting out the places. Co-faced before the start, Frankie Dottori in Spiral. That is the sort of performance that really whets the appetite. Unbeaten, five out of five. Her own personal coronation. Oh, Richard, she's very, very good. I can't wait now for Inspiral against Homeless Songs, but for Frankie, that nightmare on Wednesday, despair yesterday, today, Joy Jason. Absolutely. Look, he had to ride her confidently according to the way it presented itself. She relaxed, she found a rhythm, and often when you're travelling that well, you can just make that little bit of room. We saw it earlier on on the card with Christoph Sumi on Dittori and full flight. She's absolutely spectacular today. Rusty, Rusty, where was that? He <laughs> really hasn't won this first time out for a very long time. But that confidence behind her today at 15 to 8. There goes Frankie. Pulls out and she takes off. Yeah, and you know what? She was a little slow out of the stalls. For 100 yards, he was giving her the G up, so he was. But then, as Jason said, he rode her like the best filly. He rode her with lots of confidence. You know, and who knew Frankie Dettori can still ride? I mean, there's lots of people, you know, would question him, but he's a, he's a world class jockey, and very rare that he was ever going to leave Ascot without having a winner. This filly was very, very impressive. She looked at last year as a two year old, she looked like the best filly as a two year old, which is whether she was going to be sharp enough in the reappearance, but she was certainly sharp enough, that's for sure. Celebrating the win, looked after by Savi Singh. Such a shame she didn't get to the guineas. He's back, Ollie. <laughs> she sure is, and my word, she's a talent. How special is this, Philly? She's very special. After once she broke slow, I thought, here we go again. What else can go wrong? But I took a chance on the inside of all the splits, and she's got an engine, she got me out of trouble. <laughs> It's been a tough way, but we're on the board now. We can chill out a bit. <laughs> we can chill out a bit. I love that. Um, AP McCoy said at the top of the program. AP McCoy said at the top of the program. The champions put bad days behind them. They look forward. How did you feel coming to the races today? Well, 
must say my head was stumpy last night. I woke up this morning, uh, you know, it took a bit of a while to warm up. Then I buried my head into the races today. I thought, well, I still have a couple of chances and no hole is lost yet. So, like PP said, you're gonna, it's hard to do, but you have to think out of the box and put yourself together and concentrate. Yeah, well then Frankie, well done, a superb horse. Congratulations.